Dr. Allen, thanks again for, for joining us. Um, I'm wondering if you can comment a little bit on the, the Crohn's and colitis recommendations uh, about guidance about going back to school for pediatric patients. I think it was generally quite positive about th that children can, can return to school safely uh, as long as they don't have severe active disease and aren't on steroids. Uh, do you agree with that recommendation? Can you comment? Uh, I think it's really important um, to be plugged into the recommendations coming from the local public health unit um, in a particular area. So that I think it's really important. Um, and that will influence um, uh, decision making with respect to um, uh, uh, going back to school, of course, um, uh, and also um, uh, be plugged into what's happening with respect to outbreaks that might be occurring. Uh, and and it, as we open up schools, there are going to be some situations where there are going to be more and more cases that might be located in some schools versus submit. So one needs to be plugged into public health. So in principle, I, I, I do agree, um, but I think uh, it's a cautious return, uh, so to speak. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think one difference maybe from uh, the U.S. experience, with, with due respect to Ben, um, you know, I think our politicians are deciding on opening schools with good coordination with our public health officers. Uh, and public health agencies in various provinces, uh, which may not necessarily be the case in some U.S. states. Am I correct, Ben? Yes, um, and it's, it seems to be state to state. I mean, there's there's been coalitions of governors um, uh, who are um, alike in terms of what they're doing for their states, um, particularly in the Northeast, which has been a, um, an epicenter. Um, uh, uh, the governors in the South aren't talking to one another, but yet they seem to be doing similar things in terms of a different than the rest of the, the country. So it's the difference between having sort of a formalized centralized approach, which has from a public health perspective, I think is optimal um, to an individualized approach.